what's up everyone? It's The Archetype, a uh, music producer based in Cambridge, Mass. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how we can make a beat with Mimic, Creative Sampler, and Reason using any sound source, uh, like my voice. All right, so we've, uh, I've loaded up Reason, and I've got an empty Mimic uh, sampler here. We're gonna take our sound, uh, our dialogue from the intro, um, and throw it in there. This is gonna be our source material. Hey, what's up everyone? It's The Archetype, a uh, music producer based in Cambridge, Mass. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how we can make a beat with Mimic, Creative Sampler, and Reason using any sound source, uh, like my voice. Cool, so that's our source material. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is kind of dial in a section that I feel like could turn into like a musical note. Um, I think this section will work pretty well. So let me just uh, isolate it here. Zoom in, get into into frame. You, 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 you. Yeah, it's feeling good. It's a nice, long held uh, pitch. You, um, and uh, I think I can kind of tweak this to kind of turn it into a nice tone. So let's put a little filtering on it, a little low pass. You, you, you. Just to kind of take you, some of that high end you, right off it. You, you. It still kind of feels you, a little, you, you, um, well, let's compress it a little bit because you're feeling you, a little weak. So you, 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 you. that helps it, you. beefs it up. Um, still sounds like the word you. So I want to try to uh, take, a, take a little bit of that you, away. You, you, so. you, 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 you. Starting to see you feel a little better. Let's put a little distortion in there. Just a little mix in. Take a little of the low end out. And cut some of the high end of that too. Kind of like that. Um, so let's put a little uh, reverb and, and delay on that just to kind of like tone it. And I think because I have it in melody mode, we have it all mapped out and, and pitch mode and then melody stretch, it uh, maps out to every key and can be played like notes. So, uh, yeah, let's give it a little shot. Let's uh, try to make a little melody out of this. Yeah, I like the end of that. The end of that kind of got nice. So let's use those little staccato notes. Those were kind of... A nice tone to them. And paste those through. And just tweaking the, f the filter a little bit just to kind of give it a little more of a note tone and kind of take the word out of it a little bit, the voice out of it. Cool, that feels pretty cool. So on another Mimic, um, I've loaded in that same dialogue and uh, in this in this case, put it to multi-slot so that I can use these eight different slots, kind of almost as like, you know, just individual samples where all these parameters will work to the specific slot as opposed to globally. Um, I've isolated a section of the dialogue that I think might work well as a kick drum. Um, so I'll show you what, uh, what I've got going here. And uh, yeah, so you can take a little uh, listen to what we what I'm working with. So this was a part of the dialogue that said... A music producer bit. Um, and I think that the plosive that I get from that producer, the P, can maybe work nicely as a kick drum. <laughs> So that's kind of like, got a good little kind of punchiness to it. So let's put a little low pass filter on that um, and let's put the res resonance up and the frequency down so it's kind of like, sounds a little bit like a kick drum. Um, let's compress that to kind of beef it up and make it feel a little better there. I like that. Um, I think it sounds nice, but I think we can pitch this down a little bit and get a nice thumpier sound out of it. So. Uh, 
let's see, maybe 11. 10, was, 10 feels pretty good. All right, that feels pretty good. I think we can bring in maybe a little bit crushy just to get a little like sort of top end on that back. And I think that feels kind of nice. Um, my opinion, that's a pretty cool, good sounding kick drum for where it came from. Um, in slot two, again, I have brought in uh, the same vocal and uh, and have tried to basically find ourselves a little a snare drum. So I'll show you the section that I pulled from here. Uh, this is what we're working with. Uh, like my voice, uh, like my voice. And uh, I think that the, the like, because of the K can give us a little bit of a K. Even though it's silent there, it can kind of... I think we can get a snare drum out of that. So let's... Yeah, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Let's do a band pass on this, just to kind of like... That's starting to feel almost like a little kind of like rim shoddy snare. Let's compress that, thicken it up. That feels pretty good. Let's put a little distortion on it. Let's pitch it down a little bit, just to kind of, maybe there, that feels kind of good. Beef it up a little bit. Um, I think if we put a little reverb on that, that feels pretty good. And then in the last slot here, um, I also have isolated a section that I think can work for the hi-hat. Um, so. This this pass here. Uh, Everyone is the archetype. Everyone is the archetype. I think the T from my name there can potentially work as a hi hat. So let's dial that in a little bit. Sound good. Let's uh, take some low end out of that. This feels kind of like a hi hat. Let's compress it, kind of beef it up. Yep. Let's make shorten it up a bunch. Yeah. Feels like a hi hat. Cool. So. Cool. So uh, let's try adding some drums to this beat now and see uh, see what we get. Feels cool. Let's duplicate that up. Put some hi hats in there. the natural groove that we have on the hi-hats so we're gonna leave that alone don't quantize that give it the natural feel um, so if we take that lead melody that we made and we duplicate the whole unit and uh, remove some of that delay remove some of that processing um, you know it's still mapped out um, in uh, melody mode and in pitch mode so so it's mapped to every key I think we can come down and and take some of this uh, high end out of out of it put a low pass on it you know, and, and compress it, and, and we can get a, a, a more of a bass tone. So, you know, that kind of... 
feels like a, you know feels like it's got a nice little bass sound out of it so let's try adding some bass So we got a nice little bass sound out of that. Put a little bottom in there. And then if we take that same lead mimic and duplicate it one more time, uh, this time engaging the loop, uh, the loop mode here, um, so that it basically doubles back on itself after running through the envelope once it doubles back and just kind of repeats this, will give us kind of more of like a pad-like thing. And I feel like we can maybe get some sort of a like pad organy kind of vibe out of this um, by uh, you know putting a little low pass filter on it again, keeping that there, um, filtering a little more with the EQ, adding some compression. Um, I think we might be able to uh, achieve something kind of cool. So let's see what we can get out of this. Um. <laughs> vibe so let's uh, see if that fits in there That's cool, it's kind of eerie, a little creepy. Um, let's see what, uh, what that feels like. Well, I think that uh, at this point, you know, we got a little cool beat made completely out of vocals. Um, I think that like if I bring my, you know, bring my 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 drummer John in to lay some live drums on top of this, and we chop some of that on top, it might kind of help really bring a little more life to this. So let's see how that works. So I've got uh, I've got John's drums in here now, um, and I recorded them into the timeline and exported them as a, as a uh, new sample. Threw them into Mimic and sliced them up. So now we have all of his drums as uh, as uh, different slices, <clears throat> so that we can like reprogram, re kind of like uh, format however we want. Just kind of play with them as uh, as as like kind of like a breakbeat. So let's try adding some live drums into this mix. See how it feels and uh, see what we come up with. able to play with a little bit in there kind of give it a couple variations some turnarounds I think we should be in good shape uh, just kind of format this a little bit feels cool so <clears throat> yeah that's the uh that's basically how you can uh one example of how you can make a beat out of using just your voice 
and, uh, and mimic creative sampling inside of Reason. Um, my name is Archetype. My John drummer, Jonathan Ullman, uh, helped me out with this one, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and learned a thing or two from it. So.